meet the students of Aisa Pune often go to Panchwati Hills. It is a relief to get away from academics and the hustle bustle of daily life. It is on one such trek that we found this guy sitting near Vetal Tekri water body waving a net in the air. Obviously, he was not trying to catch fish. We got curious. Hi, sorry to disturb you, but what are you doing? Hi, I research on dragonflies. I'm trying to catch them. Dragonflies? Yes. Dragonflies are amongst the most common of the creatures on Earth. About 6,000 still existing species are distributed all over the world. Dragonflies can be seen resting most of the time, close to water, on twigs, on the ground or on rocks. But they are very aware of movement. They have very large compound eyes. Each eye has 30,000 tiny eyes called omatidia. Only their ability to see behind them is limited. So if you need to approach one, the best way is to approach from the rear. Your quiet presence will usually not disturb the dragonfly's normal behavior. Settle down and give them some time to settle back into their normal routine. Their large multifaceted eyes, combined with their wings, make them successful predators. Dragonflies are perhaps the first insects to develop wings and venture into air and are the masters of the aerial domain. In most of the flying insects, the fore wings and hind wings are attached to each other. But each wing of the dragonfly operates independently of the others. Thus, dragonflies can propel themselves in all six directions. Up, down, forward, back, left and right. Two pairs of transparent wings, sometimes with coloured patches. Although the wings look fragile, they are actually very strong and flexible. Each wing is supported by a net-like framework of veins. The veins are heavier, stronger and closer together toward the leading edge, and thinner and more flexible toward the trailing edge. This construction makes the insect's wings capable of supplying both propulsion and lift while minimizing drag. And so, they can reach speeds of nearly 100 km per hour. The nodus near the center of the leading edge allows for some flexibility. The stigma at the wing tips add weight to the wing and reduces vibration during flight. When they are at rest, the wings of most dragonflies are held flat and away from the body. The hind wing is broader than the fore wing, so scientists grip them under anisoptera. Dragonflies are some of the best hunters in the insect world. Their quick maneuvers in flight enables them to catch many small insects. The dragonfly has an enormous appetite and will eat almost anything including mosquitoes, gnats and on occasion even other dragonflies. They perch on vegetation, waiting for prey to drift overhead. With huge eyes that provide an almost spherical view of the world, dragonflies usually approach from below, align themselves with the flight path of their prey to reduce the likelihood of detection. The eyes remains locked onto its target, but its body moves independently and maneuvers into the best orientation for capture. Then it shoots up and scoops up the victim with its hairy legs. Usually, it perches on supports to eat the prey. Dragonflies have a unique way of camouflaging themselves, enabling them to sneak up on their prey in a way that makes them seem stationary, even though they're in fact moving closer. Dragonflies are diurnal, awake during the day. Like all insects, they do not have homeostatic control on their body temperature, so they need to warm up their flight muscles before being able to take flight. They are most active on sunny days between mid-morning till mid-afternoon. On cloudy, cold or rainy days, they generally lie low and are inactive. The best time to watch dragonflies in flight is during their breeding season. During this period, males can be seen racing back and forth over ponds and streams establishing and protecting territories from rivals. The dragonfly uses several tactics to defend its territory. Some may actively patrol the territory, others may survey it from a strategic perch. Territories may be held for only a few hours, for several days or even longer, and may range from a few square feet to hundreds of feet of shoreline. Body colour is essential for partner recognition. Their colour shift referred to as nuptial coloration, signals that a male is on market for a mate. This color shift happens due to a simple chemical redox reaction. 
the altered oxidative state in mature males may actually have extra antioxidant protection, offering a natural defense against the sun's UV radiation. So the males don't have to buy suntan from the market to woo the females. Since the dragonfly larvae are carnivores, they are an effective way to reduce the insect vectors. They are found in aquatic habitats. In fact, they are considered a good indicator for wetland health. The biggest threat to their populations is alteration of habitats through development, agriculture, pesticides, pollution and water misuse. So conserve water, limit the use of fertilizers and chemicals in your garden. One must take care and conserve so that we don't lose these warriors of the sky. I was never aware that dragonflies are that fascinating. Yes, it was amazing to know about them. My pleasure.